Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be learning about the visibility converter. So uh, what happens is like if we get some null string, then we are going to hide this uh, whole item that is our name or we can just hide our address or anything inside the list as, as well as the collection view. And this video is the continuation of our previous video. You can see over here that is tutorial number 31 where we have used the text available converter. If the text is uh, uh, not available, then we were uh, showing this type of of text whenever um uh, whenever the text is empty as well as null so the, in this video we'll just uh, hide this whole uh, name uh, using its visible property so in order to do that uh, what we are actually going to do is we are going to create a collection view you can see over here just a basic collection view which gets all its item source uh, using this property that is uh, item source equals to user items and you don't have a selected item in this tutorial anyway okay so this uh, um, collection view has two item two, two items that is our name as well as the address and uh, you can see over here this is name as well as the address and uh, this uh, main collection view is binded with the main page view model and this is just a mbvm approach so we have already a model and you can just keep it in the, inside a folder named as model and uh, use this as a collection of item okay and and uh, this collection uh, of item uh, is going to hold all the uh, list items uh, that is our user item as an object so this object is going to hold name address and another object is going, going, going to hold a empty string so now what our work is that whenever we uh, get some type of empty string or uh, anything from our third party source then we are going to hide this whole name okay we are going to hide this uh, field from here that is our name name from uh, here so in order to do that uh, we are going to create a new converter that is uh, named as uh, like a visibility converter or anything as you like just create a new uh, class name as uh, like uh, just create a new class okay so uh, and give it a name as a text converter or visibility converter or anything as you like but uh, make sure that it inherits from i value converter and as soon as you implement i value converter i'll just comment this thing out and uh, here uh, this uh, namespace declaration is going to give uh, uh, like implement in inter interface implementation and uh, this is how the uh, converter works means uh, the initialization of the converter works and now what we actually need to do is like whenever any null items come from the third party source then we are going to return uh, false for the text means the boolean property uh, if we want to show that uh, specific uh, text file or not so uh, label or not that is our control so we, are, we, don't, we don't want to show that you know, we know that right so whenever that is uh, for null and if the string is uh, also null then we are not going to show it and if uh, uh, like I said, the text is uh, there and if it, if it contains some valid text then we are going to return it as true so that is it so this and uh, that is how we have created the converter now it's time to uh, call that converter using the namespace so using this uh, uh, xml uh, no, no namespace local we are going to call the whole project and if you have created a new folder and place this converter in that folder then you need to uh, call the whole project this is the project name and then uh, followed by the folder name uh, of that uh, specific folder and then uh, we are going to call that class uh, in that whole project so this is the uh, text converter uh, class that we have created and we have given a uh, x name because we want to refer it uh, in our collection view so we are going to use that now it's time for making the visibility of that label on or off so in order to do that we have uh, uh, is visible property and same thing we can do. we can just go there and then uh, make uh, the binding same thing uh, that we have already done so we are going to pass this uh, text equals to uh, I'll just give the binding name because we just want to bind the address and now anyway uh, this is going to uh, the visibility is going to be off right so now uh, the, the like is visible equals binding and you can see over here we are going to pass the name if it is null or anything uh, it will go to the converter class okay with the help of this x key name okay and it uh, after pa passing the name then uh, it converts uh, and then it will uh, provide me uh, the visibility of that specific label either it's it is going to be visible or it's not going to be visible so let's see 
so you see you can see over here uh, right now uh, this is uh, one uh, one collection view okay and uh, this uh, visibility has been uh, turned off okay and uh, uh, what has actually uh, been done over here is I have done some small mistake okay I shouldn't do it like this because uh, uh, like a label has text okay and uh, it has a binding name okay and uh, okay so the, this is how it actually going to work sorry all right so here you can see uh, the name okay the name as well as address for each uh, label and then uh, the hot reload was a problem and here you can see the address was only binded okay that means the name was not visible that's why it, that is specific cell uh, the name uh, a, a name is uh, not visible that's why address is visible that's why it is showing and those uh, uh, cells whose name were not visible then uh, um, those uh, the, those uh, fields are not like the those controls are not visible over here okay so that is all so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials